the dam breaks. Panic at DNC headquarters as Dems hit flash red lights territory with blacks and Hispanic voters. I have been warning Democrats about this since Trump was in office. Um, and, and, and they totally ignored it, totally ignoring black blacks and Hispanics and, and, and um, say, thinking that they're going to automatically get their votes. And I've been telling them they've been losing blacks, specifically black men because of their policies. Um, it, it fell on deaf ears. Now the Dem DNC is finally figuring out something that I've been writing about, I've been posting on Instagram about lately, um, and, and now they finally, uh, they're finally finally aware of this and they're afraid and they don't know what to do, uh, that they're losing the black and Hispanic vote. And I post, again, I posted the numbers on this before on my Instagram. Um, I, written about it years ago and they're losing even more and more of that support so we're going to talk a little bit about that but before we get started go ahead and hit that like button share this out so we can get this information out there subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when i'm putting out new stuff also check out my link tree in the description it has a link to my patreon where i talk about things i can't talk about here there's also a link to my instagram and my merch store also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. The Democratic Party has seen a gradual decline in support from black and Hispanic voters, especially during Donald Trump's presidency. Trump and the RNC attracted left-wing voting blocs, highlighting commonalities with the GOP. Since Trump's departure, the trend continues and recent Gallup data indicates a significant drop in support. The Democratic advantage over Republicans among Black and Hispanic adults has decreased by almost 20 percentage points in just three years, the smallest gap recorded since 1999. Now, among Black adults, Democrat identification dropped from 66% to in 2020 to around 47% in 2023. I mean, that is huge. Hispanic adults also show historically low support for Democrats with only a 12 point advantage in 2023. Gallup notes Democrats decline among men and non-college educated adults. Now, and I've also seen of a recent poll some showing that Hispanics are active, uh, um, votes for uh, Democrats and Republicans, the vote is actually 50-50, which is just crazy. And this goes to show that Democrat policies is not working, people don't believe in their ideologies, and they're jumping ship. But in this critical election year, even independents are leaning towards Trump, posing challenges for Joe Biden and Democrats. Without the traditional support from Black and Hispanic voters, Democrats face difficulty winning elections. The insult to intelligence and feeling taken advantage of prompt voters to explore alternatives. Democrats risk continued support loss, partly due to new media's rise and pushback against big tech and legacy media efforts to discredit alternative sources. Me being one of them, y'all know what happened to my old channel. But the controlled information dam has broken, contributed to Democrats second guessing and wake up calls. Democratic support erosion among core groups is in a fluke. The sustained pushback against big tech and legacy media combined with new media's rise play a role. The dam has broken not only in terms of voter support, but also in controlled information. And Democrats are experiencing wake up calls as alternative media gains influence. I mean, think about it. More people watch um, YouTube streamers and news from um, independent people like myself and podcasts like Joe Rogan and, and things like that rather than listening to the legacy media. I mean, who really watches MSNBC and Fox News other than old, the older generations? But the party must adapt to this changing landscape or face further losses in support. Which again, y'all know. I hope I hope they continue to lose support. I hope it continues hemorrhaging because their policies are are. I mean, think about some of the Democratic policies. Think about some of the things they stand for. 
open borders, which is hurting people. Um, they they want they want to control every single aspect of your life. I mean, banning things like stove gas stoves, and they want to get rid of your self sufficiency. They I mean they want to censor you for wrong think where you you can't have your own ideas. You know, I did a video yesterday about how Joe Biden put together um, using using um, corporations to try to censor people. Uh, censor people's private messages. So now your own, even your private messages will be censored now, and and people are are, are fed up with the the lun the lunacy left. They're fed up with the Biden administration, and they're um they're they're totally voting against Democrats now. But let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.